We're gonna see what? Ropes. Really? And what do you think about it? I don't know. <laughs> Well, there's nobody behind us, so you can. Oh, yeah, there is. Do you think that was very funny? I have a lantern. If we want to take a night hike or a night walk, we have a lantern we can take with us too. Whoop de doo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hannah Flat. What's up? Mine stuff. I want to see how. Is this a town or yeah, is this. Oh, this is North Shore, maybe. Maybe there's a shore called there's just North Shore Bear. What are all these? Look at all the wood right here. Are these all like uh, like the cabins or warehouses? Oh, there's a North Shore Brewing Company. We haven't gotten the white things right yet, yeah. so we'll be alright. I'm just a person. Oh, these houses are so built this like the land that we always seem to hear. This must be funny. You just sit. Oh, okay. There are a lot of logs around here. Look at this. Dang. Arthur <laughs> you might want to speed it up a little bit because you do have people behind. So, as we were on our way up, Monica's driving at about five, maybe ten miles an hour over the speed limit. As we get into the uh, passing lane, this little uh, Honda Civic type of car honks as he goes by, and this guy flips us off inside. He looks like a total fucking punk. So, Monica and I. We're laughing and we followed him all the way to his home where he where he parked. Oh look, there's like a walk thing. Should be oh, is that sign say something right there? Yeah, it's up there, I guess. Yeah. Oh rental? Big Bear Discovery. Big Bear Discovery. I think we gotta turn down that. <gasps> <laughs> Doesn't this seem like it'd be more near the observatory? Oh, there, there's the thing. Oh, it's blocked out. Uh, I don't think that's really necessary. That does it we just make some calls. This is the line that we always seem to hear. Does it matter? You just sit. Things get worse, Anne. Watch TV and drink your beer. Well, I get a bigger Walking on the road. For those of you that are not familiar with the Moon Ridge Animal Park, uh, we began in 1959 due to some forest fires in the area. Um, there was a need for animals to be rehabilitated. Um, some bobcats, deer, things like that. Um, and our zoo kind of popped up around that. We now have over 200 animals here. Um, our animals come to us for three different reasons here. Um, animals come in that are injured. Um, we try to rehabilitate as many as we can and re-release them out into the wild. Um, those that cannot um, come and have a home for life with us. So it's a little bit different than other zoos in that aspect. Um, they may be orphaned, maybe when they come to us, um, or imprinted. So we have three bobcats in here. If you take a look, um, our smallest one right here actually came in front. That is Sassafras. She came to us because as a cub, she had a broken pelvis. Um, and she had some broken surface surgery. Um, she was not re-released. So and she's about four years old. The other one you see right there, the larger one, is Micah. Micah came to us because she was an illegal pet. Um, oh. uh, Bobcats are known for being extremely aggressive. They do not make good pets in any way. Um, 
so she, Marta is about seven years old and she's actually your average size for a bobcat. She's got a little bit of a belly. She's got a good life here. Um, inside the den there we have a third bobcat that unfortunately you're probably not going to see today. His name is Tornado. He came to us because his mother um, was wandering onto a ranch and then she was shot by um, the ranch owner. They followed the trail back to the den where they found Tornado. They tried to keep him illegally as a pet. Again, didn't work out. Um, he is actually very, very people shy, so it's not very often that you see him come out of his den. For reasons, um, it helps their young to be able to follow them, but it also, um, if they do have a predator, it uh, will make them believe that they actually have eyes back there. Kind of, you know, moves them out a little bit. They also have on the underside of their tail a white spot, and that enables the young to follow them when they're walking on the tall grass. To put it in perspective. They also have, um, with that, their opposable bungs, their, excuse me, thumbs. Um, these guys, for example, if they got on a roof like that, they could get through that roof in 20 minutes and destroy what was inside. So, extremely intelligent um, animals. They also have 10 times the sensitivity in their hands that we do. They'll eat the entire fish, yeah. These guys also do well. Um, the eggs that we feed them are sometimes hard boiled, sometimes raw. So they've adapted both ways on how to eat them. They're very smart. Bring that egg Think you're loving, baby, and all you're doing is crying. Can you feel? Ah, those feelings real. Look at your game, girl. Look at your game, girl.